Hey guys, I'm Dave and welcome to the Troll Gallery. Today we're going to fix the table saw that I thought I already fixed. If you watched my recent video where I repaired my table saw, you'll remember that I ended the video before turning it on. I wanted to replace my brushes and they hadn't come in yet. Well, I got the brushes, I installed them, but something still isn't right. I reached out to the folks at Bosch again, and literally as I was typing my email, I looked over at the parts diagram and realized there was a part there that I hadn't seen before. And now that I see the part, I can see how I missed it, because the one that I had was damaged so badly, it doesn't look anything like the new part. So let me show you how I realized something wasn't right, put this new part in, and See if we can get this table saw back up and running because I got to make dust. I knew something wasn't right when I put in the new brushes. Before I installed them, the auburn blade spun smoothly. With the first brush installed, there was a bit of drag, but things still moved easily. With the second brush installed, I expected a bit more drag, but not this much. Something wasn't right. I'll save you and my armature the pain of hearing what it sounded like when I turned it on. Just know that the sound was evil. After removing the brushes and mounting bolts, I again removed the rear assembly from the arbor. It's hard to see here, but there's an area at the bottom where the bearing sits. That's where my missing part should be. The new part just arrived, and it looks like this. If you're wondering how I could have missed that when I took the saw apart originally, this is what it looked like when I removed the bearing. I just assumed it was the rear face of the seal bearing that had just been destroyed. It was during a closer look at the parts list that I noticed the ring. If we zoom in, it's much easier to see. In the diagram here, it's part number 28. The tech at Bosch suggested putting the ring into the rear assembly and then sliding it onto the bearing. A little bit of grease would help seat it on the bearing. I tried that, but I couldn't get my hand in to properly seat the ring. So I added a bit of white lithium grease to the ring and put the ring onto the bearing, and then slid the rear assembly back in place. Now I could replace the mounting bolts, and the brushes, and again I was giving things a spin as I went. Honestly, I wasn't sure that this $5 part, well, 13 was shipping, was going to be the salvation of my table saw. With everything in place, there was nothing to do but plug it in and turn it on. I was probably cringing when I flipped that switch, but it sounded like this. I can't believe I lost, I don't know, two or three weeks worth of work because of a little rubber boot that I didn't know existed. Just goes to show that you really need to pay attention, especially on parts diagrams. This really was a quick fix. Well, at least this part. And to be fair, replacing the bearing, the brushes, and that little boot, all told, couldn't have been more than a couple hours total. I just chose to spread it out over about three weeks. If you enjoyed this video, maybe give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they won't make these mistakes either. And if you haven't already, maybe it's time to hit that subscribe button and little bell so you get notified each time I put out a new video. Now that I have a table saw, I can go back to making dust and with any luck, the next video will be something actually shop related as opposed to yet another repair. And with that said, I'll be finishing up this meat cutting bandsaw and getting it out of the shop. One, it's taking up a ton of space and two, it's just been so annoying.
I didn't do a video on it because I just rebuilt my woodworking bandsaw. And I just assumed because this had been living in a barn for 20 years and it was covered with rust, that there would be a lot of cussing and bad words. I was not mistaken. This time I actually have a plan of what's coming up next because, well, I was supposed to start that video about three weeks ago. Let's see if I can actually pull that one off and get it out to you guys soon. In the meantime, you guys have a great day. Stay safe and take care. We'll see you soon.